So today I'm showing you how to charge a lithium iron phosphate battery using this ISDT Air 8 battery charger. So a couple of things you need. Uh, on the left hand side you need a power input. I'm using one of these laptop battery chargers, laptop power supplies. And on the right hand side this goes into your lithium iron phosphate battery. I just happen to have one built right here and uh, we're gonna hook up a power source. Any power source will work up to 30 volts input and up to 20 amps and this charger is capable of putting out 20 amps into your battery. So let me get this thing hooked up for you. So here I plugged my laptop power supply into an outlet. Okay and I think this power supply is putting out 19 volts. And at, at the ends I have Anderson's uh, put on. So your input of your power supply goes to the left side of this charger and I have Anderson's on here as well. So let me plug this in. So now my charger is active and on the right hand side I have Anderson's that's going to my battery. Let me plug this in for now. So this battery is a lithium iron phosphate battery and it's a 40 amp hour battery and my BMS supports up to 20 amps of charging. So 40 amp hours means a 1C charge would be 40 amps which is a lot more than my power supply can, can supply. But uh, half a C, half of the capacity is 20 amps so you can charge this battery with 20 amps and uh, it, it will take you two hours to charge this. So I'm setting up this charger right now for a 10 amp charge, okay? So this charger has three buttons on here. It has an up button, an enter, and a down button. And if you first plug it in, it, it doesn't tell you much. So you hit the center button. And here you go, you can use these arrow keys to go up and down. Okay, so the first task is charge. Yes, I wanna charge my battery. The second one is uh, I have mine set to lithium ion, which is not correct for this battery, so I gotta change it to lithium iron phosphate right here. L-I-F-E, lithium uh, iron. Okay, hit center, hit okay. Okay, and it automatically sets my voltage to 3.65 volts, which is the maximum voltage for lithium iron phosphate for these cells. Okay, so this is correct. You can change it if you like. I, I'm not going to change it. And this cell is a 4S configuration right here. So you can change it. It goes from 1S all the way, I think, to 8S. But we have four cells here. One, two, three, four. So this charger should be set on 4S. Okay, hit enter. And then uh, 2 amps is not enough, so you can change that. You can probably go in with 10 amps right here. Select, you know, whatever your power input is and whatever your capacity is. I'm charging this with 10 amps. Okay, go down one more. Hit start. It's going to give you a warning. Well, you're not, you're not using balance leads, which is fine. Just override it. Hit OK. Here we go. You're charging. Here's your amperage. 3 amps, 4 amps. It'll go all the way up to 10. Here we go. And then it keeps track of your amp hours, how many amp hours you put in. So your input, my power, um, power supply is putting in 20.1 volts, okay. My battery is currently at 13.9 volts. My temperature is 24C or 75 uh, Fahrenheit. And that's it. Walk away from it. The amperage will taper down, okay. So I'm charging with 10 amps right now and as the battery reaches a higher state of charge the amperage goes down to 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 amps, you know, until it's, it's all the way down to basically nothing. And uh, it should take about 4 hours for a 40 amp hour battery and you can basically just walk away from it. And by the time it's done, this screen will turn green and you unplug everything. And you're good to go. Your battery is charged.
All right, short video, but that's all I have for you today. And I'll see you guys on the next one.